Hey, I'm Ralph from JTLPodcast.com. I'm going to show you how to play Silver Bullet. This is a game for two to four players, plays in about 60 minutes, is designed by Ted Alsback and is published by Bezier Games. Your village has been overrun by savage werewolves. Trade your residents and use their special abilities and the silver bullet to reduce the number of werewolves heading to your village. Call a vote when you think you have the lowest total. Have the lowest total score over four rounds to win. To set up, shuffle the cards. Deal five cards to each player face down. They are laid out in a row. And if you're playing with fewer than four players, you still deal out four sets of hands. This will remove some cards from the game. Give each player a double-sided reference card. Put the rest of the cards in a deck and flip over the top card to create the discard pile. Now choose a random start player for the first round. In subsequent rounds, the player with the silver bullet will go first, but more on that later. Players secretly look at any two of their cards, returning them face down into the same slots they were in. Players can now no longer look at their face down cards unless an ability allows it. Gameplay now, and in turn order, players will take turns either taking the top card of the deck, taking the top card of the discard pile, or calling for a vote. Now if players take the top card of the deck, they've got another two options. Put it face up in the discard pile and use its ability if it has the arrow to card icon. These are on cards numbered 5 to 12. For example, the Insomniac lets you view all the cards in your village. Instead of discarding it for the ability, you can exchange it with a card in your village. Discard any card from your village face up and place the drawn card face down into the space left by the discarded card. On your turn, if you decide to take a card from the discard pile, discard any cards from your village face up and place the drawn card face up in the space left by the discarded card. When exchanging, you can also exchange multiple cards. Slide any number of cards forward in your village, then flip them all face up. If they all have a matching number, discard them all and add the new card to your village in any empty slot, then close up the gaps left by the discarded cards. If they don't all match, flip them all face down, add the new card to either end of your village. If three or more cards don't completely match, draw an additional card and place it to either end of your village without looking at it. There are 14 different cards numbered 0 to 13 that can be divided into four categories. Let's have a look at examples of each of them now. 0. The Hunter activates during scoring, allowing you to discard one other card from any village. 1 to 4 are active when face up in your village on your turn. For example, for each face up priest in your village, you can flip over any card in your village face up or face down. As mentioned earlier, 5 to 12 are only activated when discarded after drawing it from the top of the deck. Finally, 13, the copycat, activates during scoring and will count as the lowest value card in your village. If a player has 4 or fewer cards in their village, on their turn they can call for a vote instead of drawing a card. If they do, their turn ends immediately and they cannot use a card ability in the same turn they called for a vote. Each other player will take a turn and they cannot call for a vote themselves. Once everybody has taken a turn, the round will end. The round will also end if the deck of cards runs out. You reveal all of the cards and add the total, applying any scoring effects and that's your score for the round. If you called for the vote and you have the lowest score, you score zero points. If you called for the vote and you didn't have the lowest score, you score the total of the cards in your village, plus ten. The player with the fewest points puts the silver bullet next to the deck, closer to their side of the table. If the player that scored the fewest points in the round called for the vote, they take it from the middle of the table and put it in their play area. For a tie, if the current holder is part of the tie, they'll keep it in front of themselves. If not, the closest tie player to the current start player's left will keep it next to the deck on their side. The silver bullet may be placed on a card in your village on a player's turn. That card cannot be targeted by effects, including that player's own effects, and that card's effect cannot be used. And the card is not scored at the end of the round. If it's on the last card in your village on your turn, you can draw a card and either use its ability, discard it, or call for a vote. You can't call for a vote the same turn you put it in your village. After four rounds, the player with the fewest points wins. The first tiebreaker goes to the silver bullet holder, but the second tiebreaker is the next tie player to the left of the silver bullet holder. And that's Silver Bullet, a hand management set collection game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast. You can find my blog and other social links at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob, aka Jester the Rogue, and until next time, something something werewolves, something something.